Negro Shoddy here and today we're going to be playing the new DLC for Rise of the Tomb Raider and so today is the 28th it is midnight at the time that I'm doing this this uh, screen and today Square Enix and uh, Crystal Dynamics basically they dropped their DLC today I do not have a season pass so I had to buy this outright for uh, $10 on the Xbox Live uh, store and uh, let me do something right okay just had to do something right quick so I have no clue how this mode is going to work so I'm just gonna read this uh, description off a little bit and I apologize if I sound a little bit too uh, out of it if I do sound out of it it's only because it's late and I'm not trying to really talk too much so and I'm just gonna read off this verbatim and then we can uh, get into this new mode gather food and supplies to survive the harsh wilderness explore underground caves in search of artifacts try to escape for your life so I think this I think that is basically uh, the description that they gave when uh, they were announcing this mode and all the other uh, season pass stuff from what I've read I guess you get a, a, a uh, reward for purchasing the DLC ten dollars for this DLC by the way so let's go ahead and try this okay so you got a tutorial level I guess we'll do that let's let's start on season raider I got to I'm not gonna do survivor this is about the highest I'll go So I wonder how different this mode is gonna be if it's like playing all of the like playing all the levels over, which I'm pretty sure it is, just in uh I guess it's gonna be sort of like different rules or whatever to it. At least we get a like a different uh menu screen or and uh stuff. Gather food from plants and animals find or make fires to stay warm I was looking up some of the achievements for this cause the achievements got released earlier got leaked or whatnot. but I know one is uh okay hold on you're currently broadcasting but have broadcasting interactions options to say okay would you like to enable broadcast interactions to allow you to vote on cards uh, I don't I don't care I don't care no one's watching right now anyway okay endurance Laura is on the hunt for artifacts but Trinity isn't far behind search through the forest for crypts retrieve as many artifacts as you can and then signal for a rescue Okay, search through the forest for crypts. Retrieve as many artifacts as you can and then signal for rescue. In a harsh world of the suburban wilderness, you only have one chance to survive. In endurance, Laura must manage her hunger and stay warm. Eat berries or kill animals. Okay, I didn't get to read all that. But basically, I, I, I get the gist of it. Okay, it's it's been a it's been a minute since I've played this, and by a minute I mean like three days. So the controls are gonna feel a little bit foreign to me. I'm just getting off of Fallout. God dang it! Go down there. God dang it! All right, no, I'm about to. Let's see what's inside. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's find that crypt wherever it is. 
already know I'm gonna end up dying at least once. I'm gonna mess up once. It's okay. Uh, okay, so as you can see, there's two gauges at the top, and I guess once the gauge for food goes all the way down, I'm gonna be starving. And so far, my heat level, I'm guessing that's uh, that's what's indicated by that uh, the icon with the fire and the the logs and crap in the top left corner. So when that goes down, basically. Laura is getting cold. God dang it, dear. Uh, okay, they had the crypt marked. Okay, so I just go there first. I'm not hungry, so I think I can. Oh, whoa, guys. Leave me the heck alone, yo. Dag, what the heck? I'll take it. I'll take that. She jumping in the air and knocking people out. Yeah, I have no ammo. Oh man, I need. Okay, see, now I'm about to starve. Check that left hand corner. The icon is pretty low. I need to find some food. I'm already messing up. You better not run. God dang it. Come on, dear. Trying not to run. Need to find food now. Right. I'm trying not to run. Grief, man. This joint. This joint about to be hard. Yeah, I don't know where that deer went. I'm trying not to run, because if I run. God dang it. I might have to restart. <laughs> yeah, I might have to restart. I, I messed up. Because if I run away, the animal's going to run away. You know, if I run, the deer's going to run away. My thing is, I already know I'm horrible aim, so. And like, you can barely see. Like, this, there's almost, like, uh, zero zero uh visibility not making excuses just saying so i think i think this mode is gonna make the game uh a lot more challenging for a lot of people but we'll see i know it's gonna be challenging for me no, I'm I'm terrible at stuff like this, but it's a cool concept. It's like the animals run fast as a mug up here, yo. Cause in regular mode, it's not like the bunny rabbit be. Okay, there you go. Kill it! God dang it! Okay, there you go. So I guess I have to get to the campfire in order to cook the food, or can I just automatically eat it? I'm wondering. Shooting squirrels like Daryl Dixon out here, man. Where's another one? Extra food. Should last until I need it. God dang. 
I got the worst aim. I don't know why I just don't zoom in. Oh god. I forgot all about these dudes. Oh my god, man. Every time she does that, that's crazy. Oh crap, I'm out of ammo. Okay, I just want to get one more. I want to hurry up and get one more uh, animal. I'll just kill one more animal so I can have some extra food. If I could find another animal. Let's kill a bird. Okay, so let's go ahead and into this into the uh the crypt. It's a bear, isn't it? Probably gonna be a bear in there. I'll have to gather some wood. Okay, I don't have enough wood. Oh crap. Oh shucks. I was so late. <laughs> oh dang. Hey. I have the slowest reaction time. Why didn't I jump out the way? I'm off to a bad start. I am really off to a bad start. That's okay. You know, people make mistakes. I'm not perfect. It's hard to believe I'm playing this on uh, season mode, even though this is uh, this is just a tutorial. But the enemies went down pretty quickly. Next time, I just gotta be more careful. I don't know why I didn't move out. I know what it is. Like I said, I I've been playing Fallout. I said this earlier. The controls are gonna are kinda gonna be uh, foreign to me like I was pressing Y and like in Fallout you jump with the Y button you don't jump with the f with the Y button in this game you jump with the A button and so that's how I just messed up so Here we are. that's my excuse I've been playing too much Fallout next time I'll be ready though Get this bunny rabbit. God dang. God dang it. Not the worst aim, man. I'll settle for a bird. Get some extra food. Kill the bunny rabbit, give me a little bit of extra food, and then we can go inside the crypt. Go ahead and kill this. Kill the bird again. We kill another one of them hogs. See, I wonder how, how storing the extra food is going to work though. We'll see. Need to get to the part where I can actually make the fire. Since I haven't gotten too far in this thing yet, obviously. See how everything works. I need to find some more wood. But maybe some more wood is in that, uh... It's in that crypt cave. Kill another one of these hogs. God damn it. 
Go down, please. I don't know why I let him see me. For real, bruh. You gonna throw a grenade? I'm like 10 feet away from you. You gonna throw a grenade? And I don't know why she just jumped. Like, the dude is like right beside you. You don't need to jump. <laughs> like, you don't need to jump and hit this dude. Too risky to go down there without Why is it every time I'm about to enter this cave I'm out of ammo? I start a fire here. I'll need wood if I want to get that fire lit. Okay, I need I think I need like two more pieces of wood. I just noticed something. Okay, never mind. Well maybe I didn't pick up the other piece of wood last time, I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and get the fire started. Should keep me warm. Now, as you can see, the gauge in the left-hand corner that went up. Okay. It would it would kind of be cool if like the tree was different for this mode like you get different skills or whatever let's see what do I need there's a skill there's one that I might need right now which is just to uh, be able to see the resources uh, clearly to see them highlighted rather if I can find it not gonna try to spend too much time not gonna try to spend too much time doing this but Okay, I already got that skill I was I was thinking about. So since I got that already, enemies killed in stealth will be automatically looted. No, we don't want that. Uh, we'll just go with we'll go with that one for now. We need to upgrade the arrow. I mean the uh I don't know why I said arrow. Uh need to upgrade the bow rather. Okay, so I wonder if these levels, because it, what, what it seems like, it seems like these levels might, or maybe it's because this is a tutorial level, but it seems like these levels might just be different than like the base levels of the game. I have to play the other levels to actually, obviously, to, to know whether that's it or not. But this seems like sort of a... Well, it's still the same level. See, I did it again. I press Y to jump when Y when Y is to uh, you know melee up here. It's because I've been playing so much Fallout. Controls are just so foreign to me right now. Here we are. After you've collected enough artifacts, after you connected collected enough artifacts. Find and light a signal fire to escape. In this tutorial, there is only one crypt to explore, so you should leave now. I 
I'm still kind of confused. I did it again. I press Y when I meant to press A. Uh, I'm still kind of confused about the food thing. Because I didn't see the food gauge go up or down. I noticed, obviously, the campfire uh, one. The, camp the campfire uh, symbol. Now, hold on. Now, I need to try to get out of here. A signal fire. Okay. I can call for extraction here. I need to make sure I have fuel to light it. So, I guess you... I guess you automatically eat the food that you... Did you have or you just like wait by the campfire and like once you press that button to activate the campfire you automatically eat the food? I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking things. Going to get cold out here. I'ma see how long I can survive. Obviously that's the point of this mode, so I'm not gonna light the signal campfire. I mean the signal thing. Wait, where the heck did the deer go? Am I, am I tripping? I, I I thought it was right in front of me, yo. It's late. It's it's just getting to me now how late it is. I'm tripping. It it don't matter. I just wasted so many arrows taking down that one deer. I can't even find that joint. I thought it was like right in front of me. But whatever. I know there's a. I think there's an achievement. You gotta uh, survive for five days. And hopefully, hopefully it's not uh, restricted to the uh, the tutorial. Okay, I need to get back to the campfire. I'll need a fire before long. So I can honestly say this is kind of this is gonna be kind of fun. I guess it's a decent distraction from the main game. Crap! Hold up. Hold up. Oh, so I have to keep going back and getting wood to start the fire? I knew it couldn't be that easy. I knew it. Okay, so I need to find some wood somehow. Find some freaking wood. Okay, I think there's some wood over there. see another deer I'm not even gonna go after that giant uh no god dang it where's some wood I could just stop this thing right now and light the signal fire but I don't think I oh my god man I'm messing up bruh eat some freaking wood man Oh, I'm not I'm not gonna make it. Tag, I'm I'm about to die. Yeah, I'm done. I need some freaking wood. If I had some freaking wood, man. Yeah, I am. Dang it. God. God. Dang it. God dang. 
Can I go inside the cave and get warm? Dang. <laughs> I don't know. I might be screwed now. Because I can't find any more wood. I survived for two days, y'all. And I'm about to die. Because I throw more wood, man. I keep pressing the freaking Y button. God dang it. Oh, shucks. Because I couldn't see because the screen was filled up, man. It's filled up with, with uh, the screen effect. Because I was about to die. Y'all get what I mean. Man, I am messing up royally. Yeah, this is not the best gameplay for this joint, but... You know, I'm, I'm still learning. Still learning this mode, obviously. So I messed up a few times so far. Like I said, I'm going to try to get to five days. Because I know that's an achievement. Thing is, like I said, I thought, I thought I could go back to the fire. I thought, I thought it would still be there when I would go, like when I went back to the cave. And so, as you guys saw, I went back to the cave. The fire is not there anymore. So, you gotta keep getting wood. So that's the challenge in that. You gotta keep getting wood. You gotta keep getting food. Like you're basically fighting for your survival. So. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a challenge. Right now, go ahead and look for some food. It would be e would be a lot easier if the game were to highlight the animals and stuff. Okay. Here's one. Go down. Gosh darn it. Go down. I'll need that soon enough. I'm not gonna go inside the the uh the crypt cave for a while. I think right now I need to focus on Getting food and then getting enough wood to last me so that I can make more than like two fires. Well, more than one fire at least. Because I was able to survive for two days as you saw. And that was just with creating one fire. So I should be able in theory to last for like uh, maybe four days on two fires. I'll try to work my way closer to the uh, the crypt cave. I just noticed something. I didn't really get too far into the cave. Because so I know there's got to be more to it. Because it's a crypt. I'll kill one more thing and I think I'll have enough extra food for a while. God dang it, Fallout. Y'all gonna keep seeing me press the Y button when I mean to jump all the freaking time, man. That game has changed everything for me.
get warm somehow. Okay, I think it's time to go and light a fire. So we can go ahead and head toward the crypt cave. I'll just make this arrow for later. Dag, I meant to hit this dude in the head. Oh my god. I would run out of ammo, man. Oh my god. <laughs> God dang it! I don't know why I didn't dodge out the way. I kept dodging the first time. It's like the controls are just. Like, oh my god, man! I for I forgot completely how to play this game. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Okay. See, I got about 20 pieces of wood, and I got a, I got enough, yeah. I got That's enough uh, arrows for a while. So let's go ahead and shoot that, so I know where not to be, so I don't freaking die again. Thought there was some mushrooms over here. Okay, there's not. Be careful around that. I could have sworn there's supposed to be like more to this, but okay. Okay, so now we just need to make it five days. Gosh darn it, man. If any of you guys watching this have played Fallout, you know, let, let me know in the comment section below if... If you jump from that game to another game and like it completely mess you up like like that happens with me in like every freaking game like that's why I don't like playing two games at once like if I'm gonna play a game I'm gonna play this game for X amount of days like I don't jump from game to game I don't think that's safe man <laughs> like well not safe but I don't I don't think that's good man oh that I need to make some more arrows need to catch me some food You know, make sure I get some extra wood too, cause I might need to make some more arrows. Come on, go down, go down. God dang it. God dang it. Dag and I lost track of that joint. Come on, man. I need to kill something, yo. Because I know I'm going to need some extra food. Because I can't starve to death. You know, I'm good on the wood. Cold's going to be a problem. Yeah, I need to start heading back toward the camp. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. What am I doing? I keep pressing that freaking button. Fire. I can call for extraction here. Nope, no signal fire right now. Okay, it's it's really time to start heading toward the camp. Go back into that cave and set another fire. Too risky to go down there without ammo. That 
Well, guys, we might just make it. All right. Woman might make it to the second day again. Uh, let's see. What should I pick? What should I pick? It would have been kind of cool if they did the whole story mode like this, but I guess if well we'll see we'll we'll see how how the other uh levels are because like i said these levels could be just you know like pre-made if that makes any sense for uh for this mode or it could be just you playing the modes again from the story mode and then you know just have y'all get what i mean like it could be that you just play the story mode levels again but you're using new rules basically I guess it's like the best way I can explain it oh yeah see this is what I should have gotten last time increase the amount of natural crafting resources gathered from each resource Increase the amount of man-made crafting sources. Like, I think these two are essential uh, when you first load this up. When you first uh, try endurance mode. You, you definitely, I think you're going to need these two. But now, I need to worry about getting food. Need to upgrade my bow right quick. I'll increase the damage. Uh, hold time, draw speed, yeah, increase all that, but now I'm going to need some extra food, man, I'm going to need some food, I need to get extra food, I need to get some more wood, you can never have enough wood. Like, I'm determined, I'm going to make it to five days, man. I just gotta make sure I don't get too far away from the cave because I need to keep going back in there obviously. But where are all the animals at, yo? Like, yo, where are all the animals? Gosh darn it. And I, I know she's going to get hungry sooner or later. I need to find some gosh darn food. I don't think, yeah. Yeah, so there's no map on this one, I don't think. Nah. Find something to eat. Of course, if I could find some gosh darn food, bro. Okay. Come on, Bugs Bunny. God darn it. Shucks. Okay, so. Okay. So at least that, that confirms it. So she just automatically eats the food. I just didn't pay attention to it. I probably should have paid attention to it earlier. So basically, the smartest thing to do is to kill more than what you actually need, obviously. You know, get get extra food where you can. Need to get some more food. Dang it, don't run for me, gosh darn it. Getting colder. Okay, it's time to go back to the fire. 
extra food. Should last until I need it. Okay, let's go back into the cave. Just save that for later. At least it's warmer in here. Much better. Should be warm enough to head out again. So basically, just gotta keep repeating this pattern. Getting food. Getting, f getting, uh, wood. But I will go to five days, man. They better give me my achievement. Because I did something up here before and it did not give me the achievement for it. God dang it. Come on, man. Keep running out of arrows. God dang it. Like, slow down, Bugs Bunny. Gosh darn it. Dang it, all the forest animals want to be in one spot, yo. I don't know why I kept walking toward that giant. Knowing that it's going to run away. Gosh darn it. I need to try to find some more wood also. Like next time I go go to the, uh, the campfire, I'm going to need to... See how how many uh well how much wood it takes for each campfire. Cause I certainly did not check last time. I need a need to find some more wood, yo. Gosh darn it, man. I know I'm going to need at least, I need to get wood from at least two more trees or whatnot. And then I think I'll be good. I think I have enough extra food if I f see something else. Yeah. And I don't think, hold on. Because I can't see how, why in the world would they have the broadcasting thing right where the the ammo where where the game shows you how 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 many uh how many arrows you have cuz i can't tell how many arrows i have okay i just hope I'm, i hope i have enough wood man cuz i can't seem to find no more yo I don't guess that I've been running in circles, but it's only so much land, so many trees, it's not too, too many places you can run. I mean, the place is only but so big. I just hope you don't get cold anytime soon. Like, bruh, where is some more food? I mean, not food, uh, wood. Because I know I'm going to need some more. Yup. Gosh darn it, yo. Okay.
need to find some gosh darn wood. But let me go ahead and go back to the camp and, and hopefully, hopefully I have enough wood, man. Hopefully. Because we're doing good so far. See, I wish the game would replenish the trees or whatnot. Because I don't, I don't know how many. Like I said, I don't know how many. Uh, well, how much wood I have though. Got to get somewhere warm. Okay, screw that bunny rabbit. I got enough food. Gosh darn it! I don't think I'm gonna make it. Well, I'm right here. Okay, I made it. Dang it! I need five pieces of wood, but I can't find any. Dang it, man. I need five pieces of wood and I can't can't find not any, yo. That joint messed up. Guess she about to freeze to death. Once again. Cause I can't find any more pieces of wood. Yeah, I can't find no more wood, man. Bruh, I can't find wood to save her life, man. Dang it. So, so this is what hypothermia feels like. Yeah, I can imagine hyperdermia is horrible. Horrible thing to feel. I wish I could find some wood for you, but I guess you're about to die. Cause I cannot find out a gosh darn thing. Well, I don't think I'm gonna make it. It must not be possible to go five days on the tutorial map. You must have to actually uh light the bonfire so so uh somebody can come rescue you. You must have to. Yep, because they're not replenishing the trees, you know, they're not respawning the trees, if you get what I mean. Like, I can't go back to that same tree and it have leaves and uh, branches and, and crap still on it or whatnot that I need. So, yeah, it's probably not possible to go to five days without, uh, you know, it's, it's what, what I'm trying to say is probably not possible. On the on the tutorial map, but probably on the other maps. Well, most likely on the other na maps, uh, you're gonna be able to actually go to five days. But I don't think on the tutorial level you can do it, cause I, cause y'all y'all see, y'all see, man. Dag. I mean, this thing has been on red for a while, so maybe maybe the fact that I took a lot of food that I killed a lot of animals for food so maybe that's the reason why I'm lasting so long because she has a lot of food in her but that doesn't even make any sense because last time but then again I think last time I fell into that trap so dag oh now I find well that's not what I need man I need branches you know I need Wood. W O O D. And how in the world am I still alive, yo? God dang it. Laura, Laura, not gonna lock, not gonna live, yo. She ain't living after this. And I can't find not a freaking thing, man. I'm gonna see how long I can last without, without a fire, though. I could try to go into the cave again. Maybe that will warm me up just a little bit. I mean, it would make more sense to just stay in the cave because I can't find no more wood. So, God dang it, man. Let's try to head inside the cave. know maybe this will help a little bit nope still about to die gosh darn it dang 
I think I went what three days yep three days I wonder I don't think you can go more than three days on this joint or maybe it's because I used too many arrows or whatnot you know maybe I gotta use uh, less arrows next time but all right so this has just been a taste of of the endurance mode I'll probably you know I'm gonna probably upload this screen to YouTube I'll probably upload that as soon as I can and then I'll probably try to I'll probably try this again uh, in the morning like I said it was like 12 o'clock when I started this thing and it's like 124 at night now so oh wow Okay, so it gives you a timeline of your journey, so uh, sort of speak. So let's see. Let's see how I did. I killed a boar, so on the first day, I found an underground crypt. I killed a boar. I killed a bird. I killed a rabbit. I killed two Trinity soldiers. I established a base camp and then I lit a fire to the base camp found the artifact and I discovered a signal fire which I did not light and I did it again I lit a base camp fire killed a squirrel killed another rabbit killed a squirrel so established a base camp once again killed a squirrel Killed a rabbit, killed a squirrel, killed a boar, and I started to die from hypothermia, started to freeze to death, and I died, frozen to death. So, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'm going to upload this to YouTube, so feel free to like, subscribe. I'll probably, I'll probably try this again. Like I said, I'll probably try it again in the morning. Let me know what you guys think about endurance mode. How you guys are enjoying the mode so far. I'll see you guys next time. This has been the Negro Shoddy. And I'm out of here. Peace.